Welcome back. It's an inspiring picture with an even more inspiring story behind it. After losing more than 200 pounds, Asia Ford decided to participate in her first 10K race. Halfway through the race, she had a hard time breathing. Paramedics advised her to stop, but she refused. Police Lieutenant Aubrey Gregory even asked her if she wanted to ride to the finish line, determined to complete the race. Asia again said no. That's when Lieutenant Gregory got out of his car, grabbed her hand, and walked the last two miles of the race with her. These pictures of them crossing the finish line have been shared thousands of times on Facebook. They are both with us now, Asia Ford and Lieutenant Aubrey Gregory. Congratulations, Asia, for crossing that finish line. What did it feel like? Thank you. It felt great. It, it really did because I, I felt like um, at mile five, the race was over for me. Um, so it, it felt wonderful. And what kept you going? Because, you know, everyone was telling you, uh, the lieutenant being one of those people, to stop because uh, your breathing was labored. But, but you wanted to keep going. What, 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 what was it inside of you that wanted to keep going? Well, my son was with me, and I teach them that when they start something, never stop at the middle of it. You know, always finish what you start. And so for me, um, to allow him to watch me um, do something different than what I always teach them was almost like contradicting myself. And I felt like I was almost letting them down. Mm -hmm. And then not to mention that I had Lieutenant Gregory there to encourage me and keep me encouraged to go on further. Lieutenant Gregory, you obviously grabbed Asia's hand after she said she wouldn't stop and you decided to walk with her. Why did you do that? You know, being a police officer is all about service. And it's all about helping. And to see her there and and knew she needed a hand and knew that she needed some help. Um, there was no way I wasn't going to get out of that car. There was no way I wasn't going to offer my hand to her and uh, make that journey with her. I'm just glad that she let me make it uh, alongside her to be a part of that and be a part of her accomplishments and success. So thank you guys both for being here. What an incredibly inspiring story um, in crossing that finish line despite the fact that she had that labor breathing. And, and what a great example there of a fantastic officer doing, you know, what was needed in that situation. So I know you've done a lot of half marathons, marathons mm -hmm. kind of things. I, I have not. Um, a lot of my friends have done it, and they say that until you do it, you don't understand exactly what the emotional experience is. And that's for people who haven't gone through a 200-pound transformation, right? Mm -hmm. So I can only imagine to feel that outpouring of support, mm -hmm. how emotional that is. And they talk about getting to that place where you know your body physically doesn't have anymore, right. and you just will yourself to make it happen. Yeah. I think... That would, that would and, be... and she's gone, you know, she's lost 200 pounds. So she's already been on, on a really sort of likely tough road to this point. And, and oh. she still felt like, you know, she wanted to keep going. And it's just such an incredible thing to I see. I love the pictures. You can just see on her face how much she has gone through to get to mm -hmm. that moment right there. Really, really touching stuff. And obviously him walking side by side. Yeah. And, not, you know, it wasn't like he was there for a photo op or any PR. No. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just be, people being good people.